Well, before making their decision today, the Athletic Association heard from a team of attorneys representing Rick Patino. WHS 11's Chris Williams talked with attorney Steve Pence about the case that he presented for Rick Patino today. And uh, Chris is joining us live now from the UofL campus. Chris? Now, Coach Patino's attorney made his case with this document and exhibits, including results of a lie detector test they claim proves Coach Patino's innocence in the bribery scandal. There are also text messages, an affidavit, and a sworn statement of support. The argument was crafted from the perspective that Coach Rick Patino is coach number two named in that FBI criminal complaint. Here's my exchange about that topic with his attorney. Steve, do you deny that Coach Patino was coach number two then in that criminal? Complaint? Well, look, I'm not going to, I, I, I am not the FBI, so I didn't write that. But we presented our case as if Coach. Uh, coach Patino was coach number two, but I would advise you to, uh, when reporting on this, is to look at the submission that we made on what has actually been said about coach number two. There's this idea that, well, he's coach number two, there must be something nefarious. Take a close look at what we've submitted and what they allege actually that coach number two did and what he didn't do. There's no allegation that the coach, there's not evidence to indicate that coach number two either knew or could have known about this the scam that's being run by these uh, uh, characters in this in this scheme. Did Coach Patino lose control of his program? No, that's that's ridiculous. Of course not. So how would you? Lose that, that, I think that's that, I think that's a ridiculous question. I'm not going to address that's that. A, I, hey, but Steve, one of the reasons that they can get rid of him is if how he loses you? control of the program. Why is that a ridiculous question? I just said he did not lose control of the program. How, what, what, how would this indicate he's lost control of his program? You can read the entire document prepared by Coach Patino's attorneys by checking out WHAS11.com. Live at the University of Louisville, Chris Williams, WHAS11 News.